Hello, everybody. This is your daily real estate practice exam question, and I got a difficult one for you. Um, you're going to have to follow the bouncing ball a little bit on this one. Here's the question. Two men are co-owners in fee simple of a small office building. One of the men dies in test state and leaves nothing to be distributed to his heirs. The surviving owner is neither related to the deceased owner nor his creditor. What would explain how the surviving owner acquired the deceased owner's interest in the office building? Huh. So two men are co-owners. I'm just highlighting a couple things here. Two men are co-owners. They owned it in fee simple. One of the men dies intestate, means without a will. Without a will okay so and he leaves nothing to be distributed to his heirs so his heirs are getting nothing what do we likely have here a reversionary rights remainder interest joint tenancy and adverse possession so we know it's not adverse possession okay because that's a form of involuntary alienation of title okay and that is Basically, when you occupy a property for in an open and hostile manner for a prescriptive period of time, you can uh, file for adverse possession. Okay, so that's not this. They both owned it, and it seems like it was legal and everything was all on the up and up. Remainder or reversionary rights. Okay, um, it's hard to tell if there's some sort of remainder or reversionary. However, what we do know in either remainder or reversionary, there's a grantor who gives rights to someone else, right? And we'll just call them person B. Then what happens is in reversionary, it would go back to them. In remainder, theirs would end like a life estate and it would go to C. So doesn't seem like we have that there either. So we're going to cross off B and we're also going to cross off A because it doesn't revert, nor does it have a remainder in this scenario. So the likely scenario is that they owned it as joint tenants, meaning the two of them had rights of survivorship. Okay. So the one man dies. Okay. Um, and he has his ownership share dissolve into the remaining owner. And that is most common in joint tenancy. Guys, I hope you liked that one. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. And also, if you need private lessons, the link's down below in the description box. Thank you so much, guys, and I'm going to see you real soon.